Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Welcome to part two of my video series about four clinically proven ways to burn belly fat. Now part one, I discuss how belly fat produces lots of negative hormones which can cause inflammation, which can also lead to various diseases and cancers. I also discuss one of the primary causes of belly fat, especially in men, and that's an imbalance in your sex hormones, specifically lower male hormones such as testosterone and higher female hormones such as estrogen. So if you missed part one, you can watch that video by clicking the link below in the description area, but do so after you watch this video. Also, if you are already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so now so you don't miss the next video in this series. Now today I'm going to discuss another hormone known to cause belly fat, and that's insulin. Now insulin is secreted by your pancreas to help lower blood sugar. The higher your blood sugar, the more insulin is secreted to lower it back to healthy levels. Now, insulin is also known as your storage hormone, and thus, it stores nutrients. But when it's too much, too high, too often, the foods you eat get stored as belly fat. Worse yet, visceral fat. Remember that unhealthy fat, which, as mentioned in part one, is around your organs and causes so many illnesses, and it's just super unhealthy. Ironically, low blood sugar isn't good either because it signals your body to release stress hormones such as epinephrine and cortisol and chronically elevated stress hormones, which most of us have due to modern stressful lifestyles, causes belly fat. So you don't want high or low insulin levels. Now the second problem is as we age, the negative changes in your hormones, lost muscle, and other aging changes causes your receptors to be less sensitive to insulin. Thus your body doesn't recognize the regular amounts of insulin that's secreted, so it secretes even more to get the job done to lower your blood sugar. And this insulin insensitivity is another major reason for elevated blood sugar, higher insulin levels, and even more belly fat. And as stated in part one, in the video part one, more belly fat equals more estrogen equals less testosterone, and again, more negative imbalances in your hormones. So you must control your blood sugar levels. You don't want them high or low. You want it nice and steady throughout the day. And the solution means that, first of all, you want to eat around four to six smaller meals daily to keep your blood sugar on a regular basis. Eat some healthy fats and fiber with all your meals to lower blood sugar spikes. Also, you wanna eat some protein with all your meals. About three or four ounces is all you need, which is around 25 to 30 grams. Eat lots of vegetables with all your meals and also um, eat small amounts of healthy carbs, such as yams and sweet potatoes, white rice, oats, lentils, and so forth. Make sure you also exercise daily. Remember, the more muscle you have, the better your blood sugar levels and the improved insulin sensitivity. Finally, take natural herbs to help lower your blood sugar and also improve insulin sensitivity at the same time. They can be as powerful as drugs, but without any of the negative side effects. Anyways, I have more details about this. Now you can easily and quickly control your blood sugar levels for both longevity and for erasing belly fat. Just click the link below in the description area right now and discover how. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your questions and comments below. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor and make sure you click the link below in the description area to watch that next short video and copy the same formula that actually lowered my uncle's blood sugar by 46% and lost 34 pounds. It was great results. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.